Hi, Rich Spazano here from Digitally Fearless, and today we're going to talk about reasons to rasterize or not to rasterize. So let's get started. Okay, so I just opened a blank document, and it's basically letter size, but at 72 dpi. And I'm going to stop, go to stock photos. And I'm just going to type any. Doesn't really matter. So I, maybe I'll just go to Pixabay because I'm sure there's more. And here we go. So let's see which one we want to pick. Let's pick this child. Let's go back to layer and move it on the move tool. And let's put this eye right there. So here we have that, and I'm going to do File, Save As, and I'm going to call it Photo No Rasterize, and Save. And now I'm going to head a selection, and it doesn't matter what kind of selection, I'm just picking this like that, and I'm going to mask that. So we'll put a mask, and deselect Controller Command D, and now there you go, we have this I. And I'm going to save that too. File, export, I'm sorry, save as. And this time I'm going to save it as, I'm just going to call it masked, right? And I'll say save. And then I'm going to do another one. This time I'm going to right click and say rasterize and trim. And so now it's rasterized and it's trimmed. And I'm going to do file save as and I'll just type rest trim and we say oh okay, save now I'm going to open my finder or your file manager whichever you use and go to that folder and I want you to see something very very different here the rasterize and trim is 294 kilobytes whereas the masked photo or the, or the photo before its mask is 10.6 megabytes. That's a huge difference. So that's one reason that you should rasterize. Now let's talk about other things. Let's undo that. Control Command Z and Z. And so now it's, it's, we still have a mask, as you can see. Now that it's masked, if we want to turn this around, I could open up the Transform Manager, but I, I'd like the feel of doing things as I see them. So we have to go all the way out and then say I wanted to turn this, I don't know, to here. Well, then two things happen. So let's go back here. One is the outside shows where well, that's no good. And the other is I had to go far out to do this just to make this eye turn this way. So that's another reason to rasterize. So let me undo that. So let's rasterize again, rasterize and trim. And now, because it's rasterized, the rest of it is no longer there. So I can be working here and move it where I want and have no issues with that. So that's the next reason to rasterize. Let me undo all this, bring back the mask. Okay, so now I'm going to delete the mask right now. And let's say that we wanted to crop this picture. I can crop like this, say, instead of masking it, I can crop any picture. And I'm going to hit enter on that. So there's my crop picture. And now I'll do file, save as, and I will do, I'll call it crop. Okay, save. Let me go back to that file. I should have left it open. <laughs> okay, so cropped is still 10.5, meg. it's even more, 10.5 megabyte, more than the masked one. So now the reason for that is the crop tool doesn't get rid of anything. So you can move this around. You can actually take the photo probably and move it around, move the cropping around and do different things. So the crop tool never gets rid of anything. Let me cancel that. So there's two ways to crop here. You can do right click, rasterize and trim. And then now it's just that picture. File, save as. I'm going to say crop rasterize and save and if we open that again crop rasterize let's see the size of that one 529 kilobytes as opposed to 10.5 megabytes 
So that's another reason to rasterize. There's another way too, I'm gonna to undo. This is a crop photo, you see? So now we can just go to layer, um, merge visible, and this is the cropped one. If I got rid of this completely, and then file save, it would still be, it would be a small file. So that's another way of rasterizing and trimming. Now let's talk about reasons not to rasterize. Go to stock, I'm gonna bring that same photo again. If you want to do different things with this photo, manipulate it in size, if you want to enlarge that, you should never rasterize anything. For example, we can use the pen tool. I'll just do a gear. Let's just do a gear right here. And in fact, let's go like that. And give it a color so you could see it. A lighter color than that, maybe. Okay, so. This gear, no matter how large you make it or how small you make it, will always have clean lines. But if you, and just like a photo, if you have a photo and you rasterize and trim, I can right click here also and do rasterize and trim. Now, if you make it bigger, I want you to see what happens here. And that happens also with photos, like in, inside the skin, everything will have this roughness because it's, it's no longer a vector or it's no longer an image file. So you should never rasterize if you need to enlarge something. Uh, never, also never rasterize, like we said before, if you need to crop something. And because you may not be ready in the end, you, you could still move this around even though it's cropped. You can, you can move this to different parts. You can also change the size during the, during the crop. So you may want that. Once you've clipped, once you've rasterized and trimmed it, you can no longer do that. that, that this would be, not be possible if we had the eye showing and then we rasterize and trim because there'd be no other information. So always wait till you've finished with the information and you've finished with the size. And then if you want to reduce your file size, then you do it. And one reason to reduce your file size, if, you do, if you're working on about 20 layers and everything has masks and the photos and graphic work is much larger than the mask, obviously, the file size will be big. And also your processor has to work so much harder to keep track of all that. Once you rasterize and trim, your processor doesn't have to work very hard. So if your computer is stalling or slowing down or if you don't have enough memory, rasterize and trim is the way to go. So there's different ways, just so you're aware, uh, when you bring something in, I can say file, place, I don't know what I have here. Let's say place, and some of my thumbnails, I'll just go to my thumbnails here. And if I placed this thumbnail of something I did in the past, and I, if I place something, that is not a pixel layer. That is, so I can shrink that and, and make it larger, not larger than it should have been, but you know, pretty large you can get away with without having things blur out on me and without having jagged edges. Whereas if I right clicked, let's keep it here. If I right clicked and say rasterize, it, it is now a pixel image. I don't know why it doesn't say it there, but it should, but it is now a rasterized pixel image. And you see what happens as I grow? That's because it's pixels and it has to fake adding pixels to it, whereas the original, when it was an image, did not have to. Many have asked why you should rasterize and not rasterize, so I thought this beginner's tutorial would explain some of it. And if you have any comments on YouTube, comment to me and let me know what you think, or let me know why you think I'm wrong or right, and I hope I'm right. And please hit like and subscribe, and hope you have a great day. Thank you. Bye.